Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I am dismounting all my wooden stamps. Um, I've been wanting to do this for ages when I first heard about it, and a couple of friends have been doing it. Uh, Yoli, Natasha, um, <clears throat> and everybody has kind of different ideas on how to do it, so I went on our favorite place here, YouTube, and kind of watched a few different videos and techniques and um, took ideas from everybody and this is what I'm doing. Okay, first of all, I bought this uh, hot knife from Michaels. I don't even know. I threw away the wrapping and my receipt, of course. And I don't know. The brand is Sino Foreign Joint Venture Ningbo. Shenshing Electric Appliances. So I don't even know if that was the name on it or not, but it is. it has a design flaw. Okay, this part heats up. As you can see, it, it you know, the metal turns different colors. That means it's hot and it's been heated. Like if you, um, say you're going to clean your oven, self-cleaning oven, if you leave the racks in your oven, they'll turn these colors. If you take them out and clean your oven, they'll be fine, but when they... When metal gets to a really high heat like that, it turns all the colors in. And by the way, this is extremely hot, so be careful. But here's the design flaw. These little pieces, I'm going to come close. Those are the little exacto blades that go inside this machine or tool. Well, the problem is when it gets hot, you know, you're pressing down like this cutting. So as you can see, not only does the blade get loose, but this little screw bends because it gets hot. So I'll show a little close up on that. <clears throat> so that is a design flaw. See how it's crooked? It'll never set into this uh, straight again. So, okay, so like here would be this straight screw. It's going to be crooked. So it's always going to be this really weird loose thing. And my worry is that it. The screw's going to break off eventually. I don't know if it will. But I would think because it's going to get weakened. Okay, so um, here's what you need. A hot knife. You could use the Tim Holtz scissors, but even though this kind of is wonky, it does work way faster and much easier than scissors. Even Timmy's old scissors. So for my process, what I want to do is I really like having this on the back, the pictures of the stamp or the image, and um, you know, taking them off and mounting them on um, mounting foam, you're not going to have that, except I came across this to use stays on, stamp up your image before you mount it, stamp up your image and then stamp it onto the back of the mounting foam. And I'm loving this. Now the only thing I want to do also is, um, or also do I should say, is um, somehow register the name of the stamp and possibly the stamp name, like the name of the company. But I think these are turning out pretty well. My first couple attempts were not the greatest stamping because my stays on was a little bit um, dry. Like that big stamp is not perfect, but I can get the idea. But most of them are coming out pretty well. And I'm really glad I came across this because I, I definitely want the image of the stamp so I can see once I put these in my DVD cases, I want to be able to just see what they are instead of having to go through and restamp them on paper or whatever. So, <clears throat> excuse me, here's what you need for my process. Let me just get this stuff put away. Okay, mounting foam. Um, you can find that at a lot of different stores or online mostly, I think. But I purchased the Stamper's Best. I think they have the best deal, and I think they have a really good quality mounting product. 
It's like ten for twenty dollars plus maybe was it seven dollars shipping from UK. And then you need a juicy stays on. So I would suggest if you don't already buy a bottle of the stays on refill. Um, you also need the stays on cleaner and the hot knife mounting tape. Um, you're supposed to use, or they suggest to use glass with the um, gun. Don't do it. Uh, oh, that's another tip. One person said to use your um, self-healing cutting mat. Don't do that because I did. And because that's a hot knife, it doesn't self-heal. What you're doing is you're opening up a, you know, a alley, so to speak, or a line with a hot knife, and it's not going to self-heal, so I ruined mine. Um, but, you know, say la vie. You learn by mistake sometimes. Um, so, I'm using a tile from our house, and um, I didn't take it off the fireplace. It was extra. <laughs> but anyways, um, I think glass, this is working fine, but, you know, the stays on's going to make a mess. I don't know. I don't think it's any different to use this than glass. Maybe there is. And then you need a dirty old rag. So here I will start. Um, <coughs> some of the uh, stamps pull off more easily than others. This one, um, I can't get it off. This one, I got most of it off, but you know, some of it's not coming off. So, and it, and it doesn't even depend on the um, foam that they use. It's kind of hit and miss. But I've only had, I think I've done, oh, 50 stamps so far. And I've only had um, problems with about five. So I think that's a pretty good, um, what you call it, record. Okay, so I'm just going to do... This is, I'm just going to show you how I do it. Okay, I've got my box of faces. Okay, see, Elvis won't come off at all. He's like totally stubborn. And I've tried to microwave, but they still don't come off. But most of them do, which is good. So I don't know what I'm going to do with those that'll come off. They won't come off. Um, some come off and they're totally sticky. So that's another issue. But... I've got a trick for that too. Okay, so I'll just kind of get started so um, you know you're not watching me yank stuff off. Oh, I got that one. Um, these are mostly square, so it's going to be a little easier. Oh, except for that one. So it's going to be a little easier, and that's kind of what. See, here's another one that won't come off. Dang. Um, oddly, the faces are, huh, okay, so I got a few there. Um, so I lied. No, I didn't lie. There's very few that haven't been coming off. So anyways, this is what I do. You want to put them face down. So I kind of just audition them on my mat. Um, obviously this has been cut into a few times. <clears throat> so just kind of put them upside down. So that you will know when, when you stamp it, you can put it exactly where you had it. Okay. Here's a sticky one. It's really sticky. Tricky sticky. So here's what I do. I use some of the backing. And that should pull right off. <coughs> and another little sticky one. And I'm just going to put him <coughs> kind of over here, I think. Because you kind of, I like to try to use up instead of um, waste. So you try to kind of get these fitted so that. You're not cutting off too, or not wasting too much of the darn it, mounting tape, mounting stuff. I'm just going to put that there. And then this girl, 
can come up here. <clears throat> and I think I'll put her here. Oopsie, dang it. Stupid sticky. I could, I haven't tried Goo Gone on these because I don't know if that's going to ruin the rubber or not. I might just use an old icky stamp and see. Okay. <clears throat> so here's, I'll call you, I'll, I'll go with this. So here's what I do get my stays on. And just, oops. It'd be helped to use the right. Side of the stays on. Okay, and ink up your stamp pretty well. Put her back down so she's all inked up. I could try to be in camera more often. And just put her back down where he had her. Let me try to fix this. There. Whoa! Sorry. Okay, there. And then just walk around her with your fingers like you would on, if you're stamping. Okay, do the next one. I can just do this up here so you can see. Just be careful because some will be sticky. And this is a messy job. Okay, now this one's sticky. <laughs> so I'm going to use the sticky, sticky side or slippery side. And then the paper won't get stuck to the Sticky stamp. Oopsie. And then just use that again to kind of rub the stamp. And what's nice about the stays on, it will stick, the stamp will pretty much stick to the mounting material because that, and that helps so that your image stays right where you want it. And then when you go to cut it, it's exactly where you want it and positioned it. <clears throat> that little face is so sticky. Okay, I'll just do this one. I'll leave that for later so I can let me show you how to do this. There. Okay. <clears throat> now, with your gun or your tool, okay, remember it's kind of crooked, so I just start up and you want to press pretty well because you're trying to cut through that paper on the bottom down here. Otherwise you're going to have a real issue because you want to cut through that and you don't want to cut your uh, stamp. But you do have to cut through that paper so that when you go to pull it all apart it will come off. Remember where your sticky ones are. See how that kind of bends? See how it's bending more? Then I'll go like this. Where is it? I'll go like that and kind of press it the other way so that, because it's so hot, that metal is bending just instantly. Even, you know, no matter what angle you hold it, 
I have found it still bends. And then for roundy ones or not straight lines, I just do what I do, you know, do your best. Because then you can, once you get these mounted on the right side of the mounting stuff, you can go back with your knife and without the, the paper, it's much easier to cut through just the foam. And then you can kind of clean it up as much as you like. Okay, so... I don't know if you can see on the back there's cuts through. Can you see that? It did cut through enough just to come and tear it. Okay. Because you want to leave the paper on the back for these bigger pieces because you'll find other stamps that will fit on that spot. And no sense wasting. Okay, so let me get this off. And I'll show, here, let me just get these off. There, oops, see, now I just did that. Because it wasn't cut. All right, I can't wait to get the sticky one stuck. Okay, so there is the face. So we'll put it down, and you know, of course you want to do the opposite cut. Or I mean, you want to put it right on, you know, the right way. And this is a little bit tricky. There. So this one's gonna be a little, probably the trickiest one because she's so sticky. Try to get this so you can see. You just put it on there. And there you go. And then, like I said, you can trim this up really easily. And just follow your knife around. And, you know, you don't have to be too picky because you really just want to get rid of the gooey or actually the sticky. You know, like this would be a little sticky. Otherwise, I don't think it's a problem. So there she is. And then we'll do a couple of these guys. Again, just pull off the stamp. Pull off the backing and then just plop it on. Obviously the straight edge ones are the easiest. Okay, and here's that stupid sticky one. Okay, and then I just want to match up. Okay, so they'll be opposite. Okay. Getting camera here, it's so mirror like. There. I love that stamp. Oops, so then, oh, and oops. Great. There. Another thing, too, is. Um, even if you put, even if you put this down and it's a little crooked, you still can go back, pull it off, and it's the mounting foam will still be sticky. Now, all you gotta do is clean up all of the stamps with the stays on. You don't want that sitting on there. Some of these are pretty old and used a lot, but 
I still don't want the stains on because it'll affect your stamp. And after all this work, you want it to be nice. Um, don't, don't hold your stamp and do it because if you have cleaner on your fingers or on the surface or on the towel, it will clean off what you just stamped on the back. So you want to just kind of hold it in a good clean spot and clean her up. Um, when I get my cases, I haven't got them, I think they're going to come today, I will show how I store them. And this is going to, I mean, I know I just did the pizza boxes like three months ago, but for me, they, um, they look really nice, they store nice, but uh, I do have um, problems with my wrists, and so they're too heavy for me, and this was, I think, is going to be the perfect solution. I'm going to put them in clear DVD boxes, and I will show that when I get done. So I hope you try this. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.